welcome back. Nigerian governors have called on striking members of the Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria, Jusan, to call off their two-week-old strike, while promising that they will start implementing financial autonomy for the judiciary latest by the end of May. Now, Jusan had embarked on a nationwide strike over the inability of state governors to grant financial autonomy to the judiciary and legislature at the state levels. The governors had, however, earlier noted that they had issues with the attempts of implementation. Now, joining us to discuss this is uh, barrister uh, Raymond Nkanebe and, uh, of course, uh, Wachuku uh, Anthony uh, of Juson in um, River State. Uh, let us start with you now, barrister Raymond uh, Nkanebe. What exactly are the issues? Uh, we have a constitution, and uh, for as long as I've known, there has been a talk, the theory of uh, the independence of the judiciary. What exactly are the issues? Why are we not having complete autonomy financially for the that arm of government. Okay, um, thank you very much for having me. So, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, go ahead, we can hear you loud and clear. Okay, uh, so well, uh, the issue is, um, even though it appeared to be um, complex, but in my opinion, I think it's very simple uh, to the extent that uh, this has to do with uh, a very clear constitutional provision mm. and it guarantees the autonomy for judiciary, both at the federal and also at the state level. And at the federal level, you have that under section 81 sub 3 of the constitution. At the state level, uh, you have that capital under section 1, 2, and sub section 3 of the constitution. Um, but um, for some reasons, uh, at the state level, the governors have refused to take to this uh, constitutional provision. Uh, but to that extent, the federal government seems to be in compliance because uh, you look at um, the federal courts uh, uh, receive their, 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 their funding directly from the concentrated uh, revenue fund on the federation. So it has to do with the uh, state level of, uh, of the judiciary, where the governors, for some reason, uh, for whatever reason, have refused to, um, to comply with this express constitutional provision, despite several interventions by the JUSU and even the judiciary itself. Because in 2014, of course, there was a judgment on the federal high court that expressly uh, 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 pronounced uh, on the autonomy of the, of the judiciary. After that judgment, there were also a memorandum of understanding between JUSU and the federal and state government officials to see how they can come together to um, enthrone this practice. But, Found out that none of those uh, interventions were true, and of course that was what led to executive order that was signed by the president last year to give ex give effect to that constitutional provision. But again, you had the pushback from the governors under the platform of the Nigerian Governors Forum, who argued who argued that the executive order to a large extent uh, is is an excess of the power to the president, and to that extent it cannot be enforced. Well, some of us agreed with the views of the governors to the extent that the executive order was ultra-virus, the powers of the president. But that does not take away the fact that the independence of the judiciary at the mm. state level has been observing the breach by the governor. So this is what has led to this current strike by okay. the judicial, uh, judicial work. All right, thanks for the, that opening comment, Ambassador Nwankanebe. Let's go to uh, Port Harcourt. Okay, we'll try and reconnect her with Port Harcourt in a bit now. But let's really understand the, the true picture of um, this uh, financial autonomy vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, the uh, dispensation of justice uh, in Nigeria right now. How does it really affect the day-to-day -day, you know, procedures uh, in terms of the law courts, uh, the judiciary staff? You know, how has it affected, maybe positively or negatively, uh, if uh, financial autonomy is not granted uh, to that particular realm of government? Um, thank you very much. Well, you see, um, everything depends on, on funding. Every arm of government relies, requires funding to actually carry out its constitutional um, obligation, isn't it? Now, the judiciary is an, is an independent arm of government from the executive and also the judiciary. And so um, and you have courts scattered across the country. Now, in this court, for them to function, they require funding. Talk about in judicial infrastructure and all what have you. Uh, when you when you take a trip to our courts, you see for yourself 
some of the negative effects of uh, this lack of judicial time because it, it, the courts are not well are not well funded. In some places, you see courts without um, uh, judges are still taking notes longhand. Have a situation where um, where judicial staff are not well trained and and all, and all what have you. So all of this tied to the lack of autonomy for the judiciary. And it is our view that if that had been the case, uh, it will act with impact positively on the quality of justice. All right, thank you so much. And let's go now to uh, Port Harkett. Uh, I understand we have uh, Wachiku, uh, uh, Anthony standing by. He is uh, of um, Juson uh, in River State. Uh, can you really take us through what's the position of uh, the striker uh, in uh, River State? Uh, from what we understand, yesterday there was a protest to the government house. And uh, the, the governor, Nisum Wiki, said that Autonomy, uh, financial autonomy is already uh, granted in River State. What is the true picture? It, it's all right. Uh, can you hear me very well? Yes, go ahead. We can hear you. Yes, yesterday, protest was uh, uh, they just soon took their own to an NSC chairperson in River State. And we submitted to soon position to the chairperson for onward transition to the to his excellency, the executive governor of River State. Oh. Are you hearing me? Yes, go ahead. We can hear you loud and, and clear. And the MBA did their own direct to the government house and also made their own position known to the, his excellency. But coming to ask me if uh, autonomy is fully implemented in River State, I would like to say that the Zoom position in River State is that we are not aware. Uh, because uh, be we, before we went on this strike, the Communic of National Executive Council of the Zoom uh, that was uh, raised on 13th of March, mm. we served it on management of the judiciary, which is headed by the chief judge. We copied SSG, we copied DSS, Commission of Police, President, Customary Court of Appeal, and very, always with us quit orders. And within that uh, 21 days ultimatum, as in, as it's inherited in that communic, nobody called the union to say, please, we have read the communic from National Secretariat. Item number nine says, after 21 days, if a full autonomy is not implemented, and that the judiciary will order the members to sit at home. Nobody called me to say, no, don't join them. You're already enjoying it. Are you getting my point? Yes, I am. Nobody called us to say, you don't universe state, bro. don't join other states. Uh, because we already enjoying autonomy. Nobody did that to us. And then the 21 days started counting and ended on the 5th. Uh, coincidentally, that 5th was uh, the day we are celebrating our Lord Jesus Christ. And then that is Easter. Then National directed that the workers, every judiciary workers renting services in every facility of the court, she withdraw the services. River State belong to Jusun, and we cannot be an exception. So we complied with that national directive. Okay. So uh, that is where we are. Okay, let me ask you a, a very quick question. Uh, yesterday, when the governor uh, was, uh, that's uh, Nation Wiki, was addressing uh, your members uh, uh, as in lawyers yesterday, there was something that he said. I just want to read it out to you so I'll get your let reaction. Me, let, me, let me put it right to you. I want to put it to you that... What are you putting to me? The, the, his Excellency never addressed the two members yesterday. He addressed MBA members yesterday. Yes, and the difference between MBA and Jusu members. They're entirely different. Okay, but the question right now is that he was saying something to lawyers yesterday, and he said, uh, quote, specifically that he was uh, surprised that uh, lawyers did not say anything between 2013 and 2015 uh, when the courts were shut down by the immediate past administration. That he was even surprised now that they're even joining Jusun to uh, call for financial autonomy. 
Well, that, uh, well, I wouldn't come here to join issues with what uh, your, my, your Excellency is uh, oh. as addressed to MBA. I wouldn't come here to either say it is correct or wrong. But oh. I'm just, I am here to tell you the position of Jusun in River State. Okay, but then again, uh, the, the, NGF, the NGF met yesterday and they said that they are not against the uh, financial um, autonomy of Jusun. But the issue yes. right now they have is uh, implementation. Specifically, they said that they, we could start seeing uh, changes uh, from May. Uh, what's your position on that? Well, that, that uh, question too is that whatever position the National Security Council of the soon takes all the branches will equally uh, abide by it. But the national has said that that position, they are not comfortable with it and they are not uh, accepting it. That's just the truth. Okay, before and we let you go now, Mr. Anthony, now just uh, tell us uh, the true position of the court and, of course, uh, the judiciary staff in uh, uh, River State. Are they getting their allowances as and when do you? Uh, what are the issues uh, with infrastructure, the court seatings, and all of that in River State? Well, there are so many issues, uh, welfare issues in River State that are yet to be attended to. Uh, but for now, the song we are singing at the union is autonomy. And in, the, in River States, if judiciary is autonomy, the union is not aware. All right, thank you so much, uh, God bless you. Anthony. Uh, let's get back to Barrister Raymond Nkanebe. You've had the position of Juson uh, in uh, River State, uh, specifically uh, the back and forth between uh, the, the NBA and, of course, uh, the governor, Nisum Wiki, uh, saying that uh, there is uh, judicial uh, autonomy in that particular state. Just how do you react, uh, Barrister uh, Nkanebe? Everyone, stand down. Are you still with us, uh, Barrister Nkanibi? Yeah, I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay, so um, I, 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 I listened to what um, His, Excellency, His Excellency Governor Jason Wiki of River State um, said yesterday with respect to uh, lawyers who, who, visited, uh, who visited him, convey the sentiment of NBA respect to the pride. So um, I think um, his position is, I, I, I couldn't find, uh, I don't find it particularly um, 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 rational with all due respect to him. In how, um, how so exactly? The issue is this. Mm. The issue is this. The, the judicial workers as well as the MBA are, uh, hello, can you hear me? Go ahead, we can hear you. Yes. Yes, the issue is the autonomy of the judiciary at the state level, across the state, and even at the federal level. Remember, I told you before now that at the federal level, the autonomy of the judiciary has been, has been in place to a large extent. But that has not stopped the judicial staff or judicial members from also locking the federal court. Because solidarity ought to be that the, 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 the struggle should be a united struggle. You have just one judicial at the federal or at the state level. Now, I don't practice in river state. I, I cannot, um, I don't know to what extent the river state government has, in, has enforced the autonomy of the judiciary for river state. But assuming, uh, assuming they are in compliance, it doesn't stop um, uh, uh, members of Jusun in that state. All right, thank you so much. The court. Oh. Yes, so that's my reaction to, to that. All right, thank you so much indeed. Uh, we appreciate your thought and your input on this particular issue of judicial, uh, financial autonomy for judiciary in Nigeria. Uh, once again, uh, we were joined by Raymond Nkanebe, legal practitioner in Wachiku, Anthony uh, Juson, chairman in River State. Uh, many thanks, um, gentlemen. Now, thank you for staying uh, with us. We'll take a short break now to hear what Nigerians have to say about the, the men of the NSAS protesters. And when we return, I'll be giving you my take. Stay with us. Oh, not at all. It's a shame, it's a disgrace that our government's uh, nonchalant attitude to the life of the citizens <laughs> is something else. I, don't, I really don't know what to say, because you can't imagine lives were lost. Some lost their legs and hands, 
and they see proposed reopening the tool as a slap on the masses. No, 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 they haven't at all. People are still complaining about so many things. No, they're trying their best anyway, but seriously speaking, they haven't done anything yet. As in, to the, to the standard of the, you know, people were really expecting much from them, but the way they are doing it is very slow. Oh, really, uh, the government uh, has, to me, they've not done anything because it's like the evil doings of the people in which we are fighting are still going on. Because if people are looking, the government are looking at the people as if all their efforts has nothing to do with them. I don't believe they have already done anything as to meet the demand of the youth in the country as per the NSAS. Well, actually they have not done enough to meet with that demand. Because uh, from the onset, the, the reason behind the, the protest have not been met fully. Apart from uh, allowing the, the SAS as a body to go off the, the military arena, does not mean that they have met with the, the demand of the protestant up to now. People are complaining why, okay, people are giving a, a particular example concerning that Lokito gate. Why are they still delaying it? There was a girl that was giving a lot of evidence, so many videos that that is not, that they have not tampered with. They didn't, they didn't even know anything about it. Then that very day, he was saying it. He said, okay, most of the chips, microchips on it have been removed. So why are they still delayed? Is it because none of their kit and kin is among those that are affected? So it shouldn't be. Are you getting me? So they have to dig deep root. Uh, dig, they have to dig dig deep into what actually went on that very day. If they really want to find it out, they will find it out. No two ways about it. And that was the voice of the people. Now my take. The Nigerian authorities have failed to bring justice uh, to those suspected uh, to be responsible for the brutal crackdown by security forces on the peaceful hashtag NSAS protesters at Lekki, Togate and Alausa in Lagos uh, in October last year, which reports said killed at least 12 people. The authorities deny opening fire on protesters and have attempted to cover up the violence. The government must bring suspected perpetrators to justice and prioritize genuine police reforms. How do we then get our state governors to obey the constitution and grant financial autonomy to their counterparts in the judiciary and the legislature? Do we return to the court when there is already a subsistent judgment in the Juson case that is yet to be obeyed? I believe it is left for the judiciaries at the state level to develop political will to ensure complete obedience to the constitution with regard to their financial autonomy. And that's Plus Politics. I am Justin Akadonio. We return again 7 p.m. tomorrow. Bye for now.